Welcome to London. My neck of the woods. We are here to take a picture of the ring giant. That is Saturn. And um, I'm gonna do it for 75 quid. Saturn for 75 quid from my roof, which is just over there actually, in London. Saturn for 75 pounds. Saturn is, of course, blooming amazing. We've actually got a little bit of competition um, because over the summer, NASA's Pro Cassini will also be shooting Saturn. Um, she's got it up there already and credits where it's due. Look at this. The storm, the vortex on Saturn's North Pole. No, you're not going mad. It is a hexagon. Not bad, Cassini. Not bad. So we're taking NASA on and I've made the tactical decision to shoot from my roof with uh, with this. That's Big Bunny, my lucky uh, mascot light thing. Now, last time we were on the roof, we shot deep space for 150 quid and it was a big success, I think. Bunny, reveal what we shot. Looks like a vampire owl. It is, in fact, the Orion Nebula from the roof, from London. We dealt with all the light pollution. Now this should be easier because Saturn and all the planets, you don't really have to worry about light pollution. So to make things interesting, we're gonna do this for 75 pounds, 75 pounds. I'm confident though, and I, I'm confident enough that I think when you see this, you'll go out and you'll buy a Tesco and you'll buy a camera and you'll shoot Saturn too. Should be relatively straightforward. Should be a quick video. If you're looking down and you're seeing like 10 minutes or something and stuff's gone wrong. It should be five minute video. Saturn bang. Now it is uh, eight March, March, nearly April. It's March. Saturn is actually behind that cloud over there right now. Um, it's a shame it's cloudy. And in fact, Jupiter's, uh, Jupiter's still in the sky. It's uh, behind that cloud there. <laughs> much use to us. I think Jupiter will be out of range by the time we get all the telescope and stuff. But Saturn is good and it's the ring planet. It's going to be fantastic. I hope. Should be. Or I'll look a plonker. Rory, you are a plonker. Alright, I'm turning you off. That's enough. The soundtrack to our Saturn shootout comes courtesy of Richtenstein. Nice. While I fiddle with telescopes, he fiddles with his synth. Woo! Are you ready, Rick? Yes. Let's do it. First job is find a telescope. The best place to look is on the auctions on eBay. I've grabbed myself a 150mm reflector. For the price of... £24. Bargain. Only problem is it's in Devon. So I'm going down to Devon to visit my folks. And I've got to show Willing. I've just pulled up all these raspberries. I spend a whole day on the allotment before revealing my secret plan. Do you want to pick up the telescope then? Yes. Are you excited about it? <laughs> I didn't even know it was a telescope. I didn't know what it was. Okay, we're going to pick up the telescope. And finally, we get to go. I can't find this seatbelt thing here, John. Turns out the telescope is an Orion SX150, probably about 15 years old. And yeah, it could have been worse. This is only part of it. <laughs> and as a bonus, it comes with an EQ2 mount with slow motion controls, which I'm gonna need. All right, oh, you have Cheers, fun mate. with it. Yeah, will do, thanks mate. <laughs> Cheers. Back in London, I'm worried about the telescope. I'm gonna check out the mirror before I do anything else. If the mirror is bad, it's essentially useless. What have we got? The mirror looks right, actually. Dusty. Ah, uh, hold on. No, there's, um... Yeah, I can see some... It's like, uh... There's some stains on it. You're not really supposed to wash mirrors unless you absolutely have to. So I'm leaving it alone. 
That's the telescope sorted. And the next morning... Hi fellow astro nerds. We have a package. The other bit we need. Inside is the answer to filming or taking a photograph of a planet. It is our camera, which is a 12 year old webcam, amazingly. The old school boys on the Astro forums are convinced that this old webcam will kick ass. A case of old school beating new school. This particular webcam has a CCD sensor inside. Modern webcams have CMOS sensors inside. While CMOS sensors are cheaper to make, actually the old CCD sensors are more sensitive to light. And for 35 quid, I don't think you'll get a better bargain. Toucan Pro webcam, 35. What about total spend? Oh. Anyway, we're about to find out how good it is. Well, actually we're not. Because before I could go out and shoot Saturn, I was given a two month deadline to make a film about Asteroid Day. Da! Asteroid Day, take one. What's the pay? See ya, double O one, innit? Yep. Kind of O O O one. Uh, it was quite good fun, actually. I'm here with Debbie Lewis, and I got to meet some pretty big nerdy stars. Down. Oh. We just lost our light, didn't we? Dr. Stuart Clark is a great guy. Uh, that's um, Queen guitarist bloke. Uh, so Lord Martin Rees, brilliant. And North Holt Branch Astro's very own Guy Wells. Worth particular mention is the potentially hazardous Apollo type asteroid 2014 Joe Of course, all this silly TV stuff has totally got in the way. And it's now July. And finally, I'm going to get to find out if we can shoot Saturn for 75 quid. Here she is. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. All I have to do is take my webcam. And it's got a little lens at the end called a Barlow lens. It's like a little magnifying glass, which came with the telescope. Take this, stick it in the eyepiece. Then all I have to do is point the telescope towards Saturn, which is south, which is that way, and take a five minute video. Easy. After I've made the video, which will undoubtedly be extremely easy, all I have to do is stack it in a free program to make an incredible picture. There's only one thing that can go wrong, and uh, that's because of the Earth rotating. Um, so to counteract that, I can use this slow motion control. So uh, I can turn this knob very slowly, and Saturn should stay in the centre of my webcam CCD. As dusk draws in, a few clouds start to appear. I just tried on the slug. There's, uh, yeah, remains of slug stuff. Okay, rough focus on something far away. Good. Now, before the clouds come, let's get a video of Saturn. And this first glimpse will tell us whether the telescope is a bag of shite or not. And there she is, floating a hundred light minutes away in our outer solar system. Okay, we're in business. And she's looking pretty good, I'd say. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, this is a problem. Lost it. Every time I move on my bouncy roof, Saturn flies off the webcam CCD. Okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. So I'll have to keep completely still to get fine focus, all the while turning the slow-mo controls to counteract the rotation of the Earth. This is almost impossible. With Saturn in focus, maybe as good as I can get it. And the clouds moments away, time to carefully reach across to the computer and press record on the webcam video. Start capture. What's going on? An error has occurred. Maybe the disc is full. No, 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 no. no. Oh, yes, it's full, shit. Now I'm in a race against the weather. So I run downstairs, I get a hard drive, I plug it in, then I find Saturn again. Then I press record on the computer. Okay, let's do this. And I watch with horror as the clouds cover Saturn. Oh, 
he's fading away. <sighs> Would you believe it? I decide I'm going to jump off the roof, but just before I do, I notice a bright star low to the west. Could it be? Is it possible? I think I saw it. Yes, it is. It's the big daddy of them all. It's Jupiter. So scratch Saturn, we're going to do Jupiter. There we go. If I move, it wobbles. Oh, there's a mozzie. It's flying and it's just... Unable to move and defenceless, an army of mosquitoes decides to attack. <laughs> Ow! Just got bit. Let's try and brush it off without wobbling the toilet Oh, shit. After three minutes of utter, utter misery, Right, I'm going to stop it. I'm uh, just stacking now. I got a free computer program to stack the video and make one single picture. What have we got? And here it comes. This is a 24 pound telescope, a 35 pound camera, totaling 59 pounds, gives us an image of Jupiter like... Well, I'm afraid to find out. You're going to have to watch the next part. Don't forget to subscribe or you'll miss it.